Hello again, this is Elias Amare for Horn of Africa TV. We are very fortunate and, uh, to have with us Dr. Mohammed Ma'tasim Hakim from Khartoum in the Sudan. Ahlan uh, wa ya Dr. Mohammed. Welcome to our show. We are extremely pleased to have you. Uh, in the first part, we had a discussion about the situation in the Sudan with my friend, Professor Mohammed Hassan. Can you please uh, give us uh, a report from on the ground, how the current uh, the situation on the ground is, the economic challenges facing yeah. the population in this time of transition? In Sudan now, uh, it was uh, a real revolution against the dictatorship of uh, Omar al-Bashir. And uh, Sudan now is looking forward to get up after uh, 58 years of the dictatorship. Uh, it started with Ibrahim Abud uh, until uh, 64. Uh, six years of the first dictatorship, and after that, Jafar Nouri ruling our country for 16 years, and after that, the Islamic uh, group uh, leadership, Omar al Bashir, they rule this country like 30 years. The, the period of democracy in Sudan, after the independent uh, 56, is just like 10 years from that day until now. This is the democracy period. And uh, 58 years is a dictatorship, a uh, military dictatorship uh, in our country. Now we are looking forward. We, 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 we got a lot of problems in the economy, uh, you know, uh, agriculture, and, uh, and uh, a lot of uh, problem about the economy in Sudan. But I think it will be uh, better after a while uh, because all the people in Sudan now looking forward to build a real democracy country. We are in the Horn of Africa. We are one of those countries. We have a lot of people in uh, our country from the border. They're living in Sudan and they, uh, they, they are Sudanese even. They're coming from uh, uh, East Africa, from Chad, uh, uh, even from Eritrea, even from Ethiopia, uh, uh, Uganda, coming, crossing the south of uh, Sudan. Uh, we are looking forward to, to have a continuously uh, democracy. We didn't need uh, uh, that happened a long time ago, a short period of democracy. We're looking for a continuously uh, democracy. This democracy is not become uh, real and become strong if we didn't talk about uh, justice and talk about uh, uh, you know the, uh, the diversity of the uh, people of Sudan. Our problem uh, 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 a long time ago, we didn't succeed to 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 build this uh, diversity between the tribes in Sudan. But uh, now, I think all the people of Sudan, all the leadership, uh, they're looking forward, you know. Even our party, a uh, member of the Democratic Unionist Party, this party is uh, uh, getting the independent in, by Ismail al -Azhari. And now, mm -hmm. Uh, the leader of our party is uh, Sayyid Mohammed Al-Swan al, al is the leadership of the Democratic Unionist uh, Party. Even I came uh, two days ago from the uh, United States of America and I crossed like Cairo and I met our leadership there. And we talk about to help other parties and other, other groups to build a real democracy uh, in our country. Okay, uh, how is the economic situation? Uh, what are the challenges facing the people on the ground right now? Inflation yes. and... and yes, uh, the current situation is, is too bad, actually. It's not uh, good. 
because uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, very important needs from the people of Sudan. They didn't get it. Even we have a problem of the bread. Mm -hmm. uh, the bread is general in all over the world. You cannot find the country have a problem of bread now. And, uh, even the gas, you know, uh, in uh, the petroleum station, uh, there is a lot of queues of cars waiting to have uh, gas for their cars. And uh, I think after uh, Sudan become uh, free from the uh, American rules about uh, helping or the, the terrorist or something like this, and mm -hmm. uh, that, that's happening uh, when they bomb uh, the uh, embassy of America in uh, uh, Nairobi and in uh, Dar es Salaam. Uh, uh, we will pay. Uh, we will pay for the people who lost their lives in this. Uh, this is a lot of problems, and we need a good relation with the international bank. You know, uh, That's we, have, we have a very we have no good uh, relation now with the international bank and other countries. Europe yesterday they uh, gave Sudan like. Uh, 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 30 million of uh, dollars to help the people uh, who are starving in uh, mm -hmm. other places uh, in Sudan. The war in Darfur and the war in Nuba, Nuba Mountain and the war in the Blue Nile, this is uh, uh, make a lot of problems of uh, Sudan to get up, even economically. And now, we are looking for the peace between uh, the center of the government, Sudan, and this group. Uh, last Friday in Cairo, Sayyid Mohammed Hassan Mirghani met uh, uh, Minnawi, one of the leadership of Darfur. Uh, of oh, Darfur, yes, uh, Minni Minnawi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are looking for peace, you know. Because without peace, uh, we cannot uh, have a uh, a right economy or uh, a successful economy in our country. Yes, you're right. That's very important. So, uh, are the various insurgent movements, the rebels, going to sign a peace accord soon with the government? Is there hope of that? Uh... Yes, yes. When they met uh, at Juba, uh, uh, Salva Kermi Ardeb, the leadership of uh, South of Sudan government, uh, it helped us uh, to, 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 to talk with all these uh, uh, groups, uh, military groups, uh, with the government. Uh, I think we succeed uh, uh, to, 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 to make a, a peace between uh, these groups and the center. And uh, actually, uh, the problem I don't, I don't, I, I, myself, I don't like. Uh, people to solve the problem by uh, uh, getting uh, places in the government. Some group that uh, we want to be minister, member of the leadership of the country, and something. No, I think better we look of the roots of the problems. What was the rules? Uh, the roots of the problem. The, the roots of the problem from the independent and in, until now. All the government, they didn't uh, make, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, economy, uh, hospitals, and uh, schools, universities in the, in the borders, in the, in the border of Sudan. Because of that, most of the people from the border of Sudan, Darfur, uh, Blue Nile, they came to the, uh, the, the, big, uh, the, the big towns, like Khartoum now. Khartoum, the population of Khartoum now is like uh, uh, 70, uh, 65 to 70 uh, percent of the uh, Sudanese. All of them, they are now, most of them now, they are living in Khartoum because there is no any kind of economy in uh, that border, and this is uh, one of the big problems. Mm -hmm. 
This is the center periphery uh, gap. Uh, all the services, the economic opportunities are in the center in uh, Khartoum. And uh, as you said, uh, people are flocking from the peripheries to, towards the center and there is a crowding and overpopulation there. Uh, yes. How about the situation now, the, the, the unique situation of uh, government uh, between the military and the civilian part? How is that working? Uh, is there more of a, a good working relationship? Uh, are there some? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going well. It's going good now. It's not. It's not like before, you know. I think uh, after a few days, we can hear about uh, their sharing in the government. Uh, they talk about how to to solve the problem about uh, refugees around this area and displaced people. How to help them and. Uh, they, 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 this is a real uh, problem, and we are going on to, to, to solve it as soon as uh, possible. Okay. Talk, if you will, uh, Dr. Mohammed, about the popular forces that brought about the change, uh, the forces for freedom and change, and the, the popular uh, uh, professional associations, the trade unions, the youth and women movement. How how is that momentum now? Uh, the, the will, the political will for change on the ground is it still vibrant and uh, continuing like before? No, no. I think I think it, it, it cannot be like before any anyway because uh, uh, the Bashir government, oh, all the, those years, thirty years, they solved any problem to give position to the military uh, groups, ministers, uh, governors in uh, states, you know. But now uh, it's different. We are, not, we are not going to share, just uh, to, to solve the problem by sharing the position of the government anyway. We are looking for the, the roots of the problem and how to solve the problem of the displaced people, the refugees, how to build uh, uh, on the ground uh, a lot of uh, uh, economy uh, factors to to, to 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 let the people there uh, living well, living in peace, and even uh, the military who uh, again is the center for long years, they supposed to share even. Uh, the, 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 the military of the Sudan. Mm -hmm. who, is, who, is, who is ready? The ready people who is well, who is young, they can share uh, the military of uh, Sudan. Others can get uh, jobs in uh, any uh, ministers or uh, any kind of uh, something belong to the uh, government. Okay, so the the popular forces that mobilized to bring about the change, uh, it has been now one year and a half already, right? Uh, how is the feeling of the people uh, right now? The, this, the, the no. momentum, how is it going? Uh, yeah, right now uh, there is uh, meetings. One of them is uh, two days ago uh, between the government, the head of the government, and uh, uh, the, the, the leadership of some of uh, this uh, military uh, group. Uh, to how to share? Uh, I'm against this uh, uh, way to solve the problem to give positions in the government. But actually, people now talk who is going to be the Minister of Foreign Affairs from them, who is going to be the leader, uh, the member of the uh, uh, government. Uh, I like this, but 
at last, I think it will be better than before because we are talking loud. There is uh, some freedom and uh, democracy. And we talk uh, with others how to get, uh, get up Sudan united uh, for the coming uh, uh, days. Very well. Uh, what is your hope of, uh, uh, or the, 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 <clears throat> the general hope on the ground of the U.S., the United States, lifting uh, uh, or, uh, you know, counseling the S Sudan's uh, states as f state sponsor of terrorism? Is that most likely going to happen soon, do you feel? I think uh, anybody, uh, they know that uh, how the American uh, thinking. Uh, America, United States of America, they have uh, a lot of friends in the area. This uh, number one. Uh, they're looking how to uh, make a good relation and uh, politically been, uh, between Sudan and Israel. And... Uh, uh, they have their own agenda, uh, and they talk about the name of Sudan in the terrorist list. But I think uh, uh, this is because they, are, they, they want to change all the Middle East uh, the area to, to make it uh, like uh, they want, you know. And now they have good relation, the American with uh, Gulf, Saudi Arabia and Emirates and uh, Bahrain. Uh, and now the target for the relation between uh, uh, Sudan and America is the start good relation between Sudan and Israel. Mm -hmm. uh, before we talk about the relation between Sudan and Israel, we want to look at what is Israel giving the countries uh, have good relation with them, like uh, government of uh, uh, southern Sudan, for example. Uh, nothing, I think. And, uh, and there is no war, actually, between Sudan and Israel. Uh, there is no border between us and Israel. Uh, and Israel really didn't give us uh, things. But even this government, government in Sudan, they have no right to have uh, uh, this relation between Sudan and Israel because it's a temporary government. Well, yeah, I think that was the, uh, the answer. Uh, <clears throat> wasn't that the answer that the Prime Minister, Dr. Hamdok, gave to the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, when he visited last time, that uh, that's not the mandate of this transitional government? Yeah, but uh, you, 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 you remember, uh, Dr. Hamdok is, uh, said we are, no, we are a temporary government. Uh, this yes. uh, uh, big uh, actions or big uh, problems or big uh, items, they're supposed to, 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 uh, to, to, uh, to, 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 to get up between a, a real, a democratic uh, government coming by election, and they have a right to do anything, to have a relation with Israel or uh, other countries or anything. But Hamdok is, uh, they have no right now to, because it's a temporary government. Uh, they didn't come by votes and by uh, election. Uh, because of that, uh, he's, he's right when he said, I uh, have no right to do that. Just waiting until the election is coming and uh, a democratic uh, government can uh, talk about this or have a relation with Israel or not. Okay, when is the election most likely to happen? Uh, give us a, an estimate of uh, time frame. Again, please. The, the election time frame, when is it most likely going to take place in your estimation? Yeah, the election uh, is written in the agreement between the military 
uh, and uh, the civilian uh, government, and uh, they uh, suppose maybe they put another three years more because it's supposed to, to, to you know, this uh, temporary government to, 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 to move uh, next year. But I think the military groups, they need a uh, long period to, to solve a lot of problems inside this area, Darfur and uh, Southern Kordofa. Uh, I think uh, uh, not more than four years, not more than four years. So the transitional period is going to be to last for four more years? Yeah, maximum. Maybe less than that, because now a lot of parties here in Sudan, they mm -hmm. refuse to, 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 to continue the, the uh, temporary government after next year. Even if Fadigal Mahani said that, uh, other groups said that. Uh, but actually, because we want peace and we want to stop the war, uh, maybe we agree to continue for another three years. Uh, and after that, uh, uh, it will be the election. In the meantime, is uh, a broad national dialogue of all political forces continuing to take place uh, on the ground in Khartoum, in the Sudan? Yes, uh, they are in Khartoum now, and they're waiting to to have places in the government. Uh, now, now all of them, uh, even if, if not the leader of the uh, military group, uh, but uh, the second man or the third man of this uh, military group is in Khartoum now. Uh, my question, though, is, is the national dialogue, the discussion going on? And a lot of them are here now, and they're talking about to share the government. As I said to you, I don't like uh, to solve the problem by sharing the government, but I like to, 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 to solve the, the, the roots of the uh, the problem in this uh, area. Very well. Uh, any final remarks, uh, Dr. Mohammed, of uh, what lies ahead? What challenges, uh, what, what are the most important challenges that lie ahead? And other concluding remarks, if you have. Uh, yeah, yeah the, 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 the final remarks, I think uh, now uh, Sudan have uh, on good relation with uh, a lot of uh, countries uh, before it was very bad relation like European countries and uh, United States of America and uh, uh, even with uh, uh, some of the Arab countries and uh, uh, about uh, uh, the, the, the neighbors, Egypt, Eritrea and Ethiopia and Southern Sudan and uh, we, we, we have a lot of, uh, we are afraid for what's going on in Libya nowadays uh, because there is a lot of terrorist, group of terrorists is in the border of uh, Sudan. Uh, even like Boko, Boko Haram is uh, uh, after Niger and Chad, that area. This, this, this uh, is a big problem for the uh, long run between uh, because they, they, are, they are sometimes uh, coming in the, inside Sudan and going out of the Sudan and this is uh, very dangerous and they support <coughs> by countries like Iran uh, 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 their groups in uh, Libya and Boko Haram but uh, I think uh, everything is going well, going better than before. Uh, for example, myself, uh, I'm against uh, al-Bashir government like 15 years. I was the spokesman of the National Democratic Alliance. At that time, John Garang and uh, Mera Ghani and Sadiq al and even the communist people uh, in this uh, uh, 
uh, uh, national of lines, you know. But uh, uh, we hope uh, uh, get helping from the uh, people uh, neighbor of Sudan because EGAD is not that EGAD to start it for 15 or 20 years. Uh, it is not now active EGAD to, 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 to help or to support uh, this. Uh, that's right. I'm uh, very glad, very happy to be with you today. And I think we can uh, continue the dialogue and discussing the problems in the uh, Horn of Africa. Uh, that is our hope to Dr. Muhammad Mu'tasim Hakam. Uh, political analyst, uh, activist, and uh, currently in Khartoum in the Sudan. Thank you very much for the update you have given us. We, we hope uh, to meet up with you in uh, the next segment, inshallah, next week, and broaden the, the discussion. But for now, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> ويجب يكون في مطورات مشتركة ويجب يكون مركزكم الإعلامي مدعوم ومساند من كافة دول القرن الأفريقي لأنه بيخدم كل المنطقة وأنا أعتقد أنه دول القرن الأفريقي ممكن لو تضامنت بتتلافى مخاطر كثيرة جدا في مواجهتها لأنه انتقل الإرهاب الآن من الميدل إيست إلى الهورن أوف أفريكا دي دي بيجت واضحة يعني إذا كان في ليبيا أو إذا كان في قريب من تشاد والنيجر والمناطق دي وتوقيت العلاقات وإقامة سيمينارات ثقافية لأنه في حاجات كثيرة لتربط الدول القرن الأفريقي مع بعض يعني وبيكون في مستقبل مشرف ويحفظوا رؤيتهم في الأمم المتحدة ويوحد رؤيتهم في الاتحاد الافريقي يعني لا بد يكون الرؤيه موحده ومتماسكه اذا كان في اليونايتد نيشن او اذا كان في الاتحاد الافريقي